Hi everyone, welcome back to Plant Boy. My name is Cade. Thank you all for sticking around through this little hiatus period. Life has been utterly insane, but that is a video for another day. So today we are going to be talking about the black cardinal philodendron. It is very similar to the Prince of Orange philodendron, which is known for its orange-toned foliage that then turns green as it matures. Um, it's very similar to that plant in the way that it is self-heading. So this type of philodendron is not going to vine or anything like that. It is rather going to take on a bush-like appearance over the years where some of your philodendrons actually grow down on vines, like your Hartley philodendrons, philodendron uh, Brazil and Rio, so on and so forth. So I believe that this is an epiphytic houseplant, meaning that it is going to really enjoy a fast draining soil, something that does not hold on to lots of moisture. So you may have to mix sand or extra perlite into your mix. I used a succulent mix um, to plant this plant in and allow it to drain pretty well. You can absolutely let this plant dry out pretty well in between waterings. You want to make sure the soil is pretty dry, not as dry as you would let a succulent get or anything like that. If you have a little bit of moisture left around the bottom of the pot, you could definitely rewater um, shortly. But I would say if the first inch or two of your soil is not dry yet, you do not want to be watering anytime soon. This is kind of a tropical foliage plant, so it is going to prefer a more humid environment than dry. So if you can uh, keep this in a more humid area, whether that be outside through the warmer months or uh, inside during the winter months by a humidifier or something like that, or a pebble tray, that would work as well. As for light requirements, I would say bright indirect light is going to be ideal for both your Prince of Orange and your Black Cardinal Philodendron. Um, as with most house plants, you want to keep it in a bright indirect light scenario. You don't want to expose the foliage to any bright direct light from the sun. That would definitely scorch the foliage and burn the leaves, and that is not what we want. Similarly, you could keep this plant in like a lower to medium light condition um, just for a short period of time. Uh, if you want to use it as a decoration or something like that, but make sure you get it towards the light um, within a reasonable amount of time so it can start photosynthesizing more um, in its preferred way. As for pests, I would definitely keep an eye out for spider mites in particular. Not um, really because the philodendrons are prone to spider mites or anything like that, and especially if you are keeping your humidity at a good level, spider mites is not are not going to be as much of a problem. However, um, with plants that have like a very bushy nature, there's going to be a lot of cracks and crevices inside of that um, plant, inside of the, I guess, petiole, um, where that new growth is coming out, where mites could easily hang out in. Um, so just make sure you're cleaning off your plant pretty readily to allow the maximum amount of light and photosynthesis to occur and um, to keep an eye out for pests as well. As for fertilizer, I would definitely use like a general all-purpose would be okay, or even something with um, a little bit more nitrogen, such as like a fish emulsion would do well to help nurture the kind of foliage-rich nature of these plants. So I think that just about covers it. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment, and thank you all again for sticking around and showing your support. I will see you all later. Bye.